Recently, we got this, the new Baker Creek full catalog, and it is jam-packed with all types of heirloom varieties of produce, of vegetables, of flowers, and it is just fantastic. And you can get one of these, all you have to do is check out the show notes below, and you can get one of these full catalogs as well. And they also have a smaller, more condensed catalog that is free. So you can check that out in the show notes below as well. But this, this catalog came in a really neat vintage package and I just, I just really like it. And I just love the style and Baker Creek Company, it's fantastic. And this is a time of year, even though it's winter, that you need to be getting ready for spring. And uh, there's a lot of different planning guides out there that you can go by, such as... Right here we have Clyde's. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> well, on this side, it oh. wasn't upside down. So, actually, this is the fall one. This is the spring side. It's a planning guide. It gives you all the information. You put in your uh, last frost date, and it'll tell you what you can plant, when you can plant it, how far apart to plant it, how deep to plant it, everything you need if you're going to have your own little garden at home. And this is a really good starter planning guide for those of you who are, are beginners or you don't have a lot of season extension tools like low tunnels, caterpillar tunnels, greenhouses, etc. Because when you have those things, you can actually grow and start things a lot sooner than you are able to with just not having those items. And uh, that's one of the things that we do is we start, we start pretty early. Actually, this is the week that we start our lettuce for our spring garden. And that is what we're going to do today. Even though it's still winter, and we still have a number of weeks, actually a couple months, until spring, and now is the time that we get started with planting our greens. And that's what we're gonna to do today. Okay, so today we're gonna to use these sails right here. We also have these, but we save these for our, more like our tomatoes, our plants that are gonna be in the trees a little bit longer. Uh, and later on, we'll be in, in the year, we're gonna be using these trays, but these are primarily for a greenhouse. And when we're starting our seeds, as well as our microgreens, we grow them inside of our grow room. You can also use a germination chamber. And uh, we use that in, as far as when we're doing our starts, uh, so that way they get the best start possible. That way the, the temperature is perfect, the humidity is perfect, and we give them pretty good lighting at the same time. So we're gonna fill up our bootstrap farmer trays here with our sails. Brand new, rip them right out of there. I also have used the 200 sail and the 128 sail plugs before as well. I uh, just find that some of them just don't hold up and last long and, and we're really trying to find products that, that last long. Uh, the, the, I forget what the one is on, I forget what that one is. I forget what this one is, but it lasts pretty long. And that one's for bootstrap farmer as well. Alrighty, and what I like to do is I like to just punch holes in them just to kind of make sure that the soil is down there so that way your seed won't pop right over top. You can also take, especially if you have the big, bigger cell trays and you can just punch them down like that too. But either way is fine. Push that soil in there. Just like that. There we go. And from there, Lacey will be adding seeds in as I'm starting trays and just moving the process along. I haven't ever used one of these cedars before, so I'm just kind of trying it to see how it goes. So I was using this cedar, 
but even on the zero setting the lettuce seeds are so small that a whole bunch of them came out and I was putting I was getting too many seeds per cell so I'm just gonna have to go back to how I've always done it and just you know use my fingers and it'll just take a little while longer we use both pelleted and non pelleted seed but uh, as you can see right here as Lacey's planting these seeds here that are non pelleted that it is more tedious it takes a lot more time to plant these seeds opposed to the pelleted ones but the pelleted seeds are more costly so if you're on a budget this may be the route to go but just keep in mind that it's going to take you a little bit more time to plant these seeds And once we have all the trays seeded, I like to just go back and since Mike pressed the soil down, I just like to top it off with some soil and that's how we just cover them up. Now that I have this tray seeded, I'm going to go ahead and mark it because in the past we have been guilty of not labeling our trays and then it's like, what is this and what is this and we're just kind of guessing. So Haas Tools has some of these really great uh, label markers that I that are blank and I'm going to write oak leaf lettuce on here and stick it in my tray. The seeds we just planted are from Baker Creek. It is the oak leaf lettuce seeds. We buy a lot of our seeds from Baker Creek and we really are big fans of theirs. But we also buy seeds from a couple of other companies. For microgreen seeds we really recommend Todd Seeds. It's a great company for buying bulk seeds for microgreens. Uh, but we also here are doing the pelleted seeds next and uh, we ha are using pelleted seeds from Haas seeds. Uh, we, we've also used, we also use Salanova from Johnny seeds as well. And as you can see here, sowing these seeds go much faster. And it goes even faster with the drop seeder and we'll include each of these seed companies in the show notes below so make sure you check that out below. Now I do want to mention that we are growing for a lot of people. This isn't just for our family. So we are fulfilling orders for our CSA customers and our restaurants. So don't think that all of this is gonna be just for us because that would be way too much lettuce just for our family. That's, that brings up a really good point. When you're deciding and planning out how much to grow, think about who you're growing for. We grow, as Lacey said, for our customers and we also grow for ourselves. So we're, we're thinking of of two groups of people primarily. So if you're just growing for you and your family, probably one to two of these trays at the most would be all you would need. So we're thinking of bigger quantities than that. And, and depending on the size of your operation, if you are growing for others, the thinking about the customers and the quantity that you're, you need to serve uh, will go into determining how much you're, you want to grow. And uh, earlier I mentioned about a planning guide. I also have a planning guide that I'll be willing to share with those who, of you who sign up for our email newsletter. Uh, just make sure you click on that link below and you can sign up for our email newsletter and I'll be happy to share my planning guide for greens uh, for, for the year. Because we are able to grow, believe it or not, here in the south and with the heat and the humidity, we can grow greens, we can grow lettuce and other greens year round. I've been wanting to try to grow some of this. It's Thousand Head Kale. And the pictures that Baker Creek has on their Instagram page of this is like these huge leaves of kale. And so we're gonna plant some of that right now. And I'm super pumped about growing this kale as well. And speaking of Baker Creek, we are gonna be doing a giveaway uh, each month this year and this month we're going to be doing a giveaway with some seeds from Baker Creek to help you start your spring garden and to enter for that giveaway all you need to do is sign up once again for our email newsletter and that information will be in the show notes below and we're going to be picking from those of you who are signed up for our email newsletter uh, to enter in for that contest and it's going to be a random drawing so we're yeah. not going to pick and choose who gets it it's going to be totally random and also we'll be giving away a number of other items so uh, we'll let you know about that soon so uh, just all you have to do is subscribe for that email newsletter Some stuff i'm really excited about yeah.
All right, so we're almost finished here. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and water these really good and then put them inside our grow room so that way they have the nice humidity and temperature that they need. But uh, in the coming weeks, it's gonna get to the point where we're starting seed every week once things start really cranking. And uh, that's just kind of how life is here on the farm. It's like we're in between, we're farmers and homesteaders. So it's like we're farmsteaders. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So let us know, what are some of the things that you, are you starting anything right now? If so, let us know, and let us know what you plan to grow this growing season. So we look forward to hearing from you. And also, if you have any questions for us about gardening, farming, whatever, your life too, let us know. That's it for now. We'll see you next time. As always, be strong, grow on, and live life without excuses. Bye.